Welcome to A New Year, New You, a conversation about accomplishing your financial goals in 2021 with Lynn Richardson and myself, MC Light. Let's get started. Well, hello, hello, hello. You are listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. You're watching the Millionaire's Roundtable. Some of you are on podcasts. You might be watching. You might just have this on uh, while you are doing your daily work or whatever it is that you're doing. But you are here. I am here. My sister MC Light is here. And I am here. Come on now, MC Light. (laughs) Yes, yes. And uh, let me tell you something. I have learned in my lifetime that you do not need to burn any bridges, okay? Mm -hmm. And then just sit with me for a minute, I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because everywhere I go, everywhere I look, everything I see, everybody's saying how terrible 2020 was. Goodbye 2020, don't wanna see you 2020, 2020, I don't want to, everybody's just so irritated with 2020. But let me tell you something, you better not burn that 2020 bridge, okay? Because if you survived, then you can thrive. Mm. And so when there are situations in life and things happen, you know, I told my uh, young, my middle child to go get some sweet potato pie because we're having sweet potato pie. And <laughs> in your sweet potato pie, you know, you need your candy, your, your sweet potatoes. You need your butter. You need your sugar. But you also need some ingredients that do not taste good by themselves, mm. like cinnamon. You mm. cannot eat cinnamon alone. I dare you. Go get a spoonful of cinnamon. And and when you start choking, thinking you got COVID, I will be sitting here listening and watching. But the whole idea is, even though that cinnamon does not taste good by itself. And what about the vanilla extract? You cannot. Vanilla extract is no good alone. No. It only works in recipes. But without the vanilla extract, the nasty stuff that makes it good, without the cinnamon, you know, you can't swallow it, but it makes for a good pie. You might not have been able to swallow 2020. Mm. 2020 might have swallowed you up a little bit. You might have had some nasty moments in 2020. But let me tell you something. If you are here now, ready to go, ready to thrive, then you have survived. And guess what? There's a good recipe. You're a good recipe. So I want us to think about this new year like as a new opportunity, not a dissing of an old year. And we know it was a mess. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. We're going to talk about the mess. We're going to talk about all the pieces of the mess. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, I feel like we are stronger. We are better. We are brighter. We are less spoiled. We are we have more clarity. At least we should. And um, I'm just excited about the new year. What's your take on it? Well, yeah, I think this year we had to become resourceful. You know, what is it that you can do first off that can be creative and put a positive spin on time that could otherwise be wasted? You know, because all of us were on this stay at home order very early on in the year. And it's what what did we do with that time? Did we get to know our families better, we got to know ourselves better and how it is that we react to having to be stuck? Well, that's the thing. You can look at it as stuck in a place for three months or you can look at it as valued time with your loved ones and with yourself for a period of time where you can then open yourself up to to learn and take advantage of that quiet time. And I think that's what we did as a company. You know, we dug in and we worked hard on things that we otherwise couldn't have done if we were traveling all over the globe the way that we usually are. You and I are always, always on a plane in an airport. You know, um, that is how most of our time was spent getting from one place to the next. So to be able to have that time during that stay home order um, to really get to know our business and get to know the ins and outs of who actually works for us and what it is that we can make better about the systems that we have in place or creating new systems and new strategies. So I think 2020, you know, it's funny, just like you, I hear people like, oh my God, I can't wait to be gone with 20. But I think we, if we were open, we learned some valuable lessons. We learned some great lessons. And the truth is, and I mean, my story is, first of all, I've been married as long as I've been an adult, just about. OK, I'm Demetrius and I've been married for 25 years. Uh, my oldest, Sydney, graduated from college. My two youngest are in college. One is 
her foot is almost out the door and the other one is just about halfway through. Mm -hmm. And um, I've had lots of ups and downs. I've had lots of struggles, just like everybody who's um, watching and listening. You know, um, the whole idea here is this really happened to be the probably one of the best years of my life outside of being an infant. <laughs> you know, when you were an infant, everybody just took care of you and so on and so forth. And at some point in life, you know, you kind of got to just do what you want to do with no responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But this was the best year in terms of business. This was the best year um, in terms of like real true growth. Um, and, and, and I want everybody to start to take an inventory, take an inventory of the things that you realized about yourself that you need to fix, that you need to change. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, like that biscuit. You know, we still we're going to talk about that biscuit. The biscuit is on my list because everybody's got a biscuit. Oh, my God. You still don't don't diss my biscuit, please. OK, <laughs> everybody's got a biscuit in their life. Everybody's got something they over, have to overcome. But what it did is it gave us an opportunity to dig deeper into the things that we had to pay attention to while we were running around doing so many things and doing well at them. But sitting still and sitting in one spot certainly gave us an opportunity to dig in. So I'm just excited about the new year. Um, I've got a list of things that I want to accomplish. Um, and one of them is to help more people become financially free. Mm. I want to help more people go from zero to 100. I want to help more people go from negative 10 to zero. Mm. I want to help more people go from 100 to 200. Whatever that number is, I want to help people um, get out of where they are and move into where they want to be. Um, I also want to, uh, one of my goals this year is to put my children on a very solid financial plan that they understand for themselves. I mean, for the most part, they grew up watching me make mistakes. And then I started to turn it all around about 15 or 16 years ago. And so now they're starting to live in the other side of what that is. But I still do everything. I still kind of say, OK, do this or buy this stock. But I want them to take control. So I want to spend more time doing that. And then I also want to spend more time traveling once we can get out of our houses and do it safely without a whole lot of, you know, uh, energy and, and things going into, is it safe? Is it not safe? And so on and so forth. So I want everybody to start to think about what it is you want to do. And I want us to write, because we're going to do, we're going to write in this session and we're going to get some goals on paper because thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through your fingertips. And then we want to put some, uh, you know, we want to put some action items to those goals. What do you want to do? Uh, and I, let me just say this. Mm -hmm. I do not say 2021. It sounds, it, it just sounds too much. It doesn't even sound like a year. It sounds like something else. And, and because we've had so much trouble, or we had so much trouble with 2020. I don't even want to name it yet. I just want to say beyond 2020 and then let's see where you end up. So I'm not, might not say it a lot, but I am talking about the new year. What do you want to do? Like, Oh, goodness. I want to do quite a few things, but I think if I like break it down to a basic level is one, I want to be better to myself, which means I want to keep the promises that I set forth. So if it's I'm not going to eat sugar and flour this week, I don't want to eat sugar and flour that week. You know, like I want to give myself the, the respect in knowing that this is my body and I am whatever I put into it. Right. So that's one thing. The second thing is I want to uh, just spend a little bit more time with my mom. My mom is going to be 71 in, in January. And, you know, I see so many people when they ask, how's your mom? I go, oh, she's good. Well, you better thank God that she is because I don't I no longer have my mom or my wow. mom is ill or my mom. So I want to take advantage of, you know, perhaps seeing her once a week. Um, will allow me because we get so sidetracked because we have these jet, we got Zoom and we got StreamYard and we got FaceTime and WhatsApp and, and we think that we're seeing people, but we're really not. You know, we're, we're seeing the two dimensional or one dimensional, but what I want to do is spend some quality time with her while she's able, while she's up and walking and, you know, and all of that. And then I want to be able to show love to my friends and my family. And, uh, and to me, that is putting in a certain level of awareness 
that I don't think I've had before. So yeah. it's, it's really taking the time to listen to their needs and what's, you know, what's happening with them and being able to impart some truth because many times yeah. I hear something and have an opinion about it and I won't say anything because it's like, that's not my business. But yeah. now you told me, so it's my business. We got to go to break. Yeah. Yep, we got to go to break. It's all good. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. It is new year, new you, new attitude, new everything. Just get new, okay? We have to take a break and we will be right back. Get an instant home-based business and give yourself the gift of wealth with no limits with Lynn Richardson's Platinum Wealth Ambassador Program. Lynn will show you how to elevate your home-based business, how to create multiple streams of income, and how to increase your credit score and many more strategies one year of unlimited access to all of Lynn's online classes, books, and webinars. Give yourself an instant home-based business with Lynn Richardson's Platinum Wealth Ambassador Program. For more information, visit lynnrichardson.com. Hey, now, welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. You're watching the Millionaire's Roundtable. You're feeling the Millionaire's Roundtable. And I am your host, Lynn Richardson. It is WVON, 1690 AM, the talk of Chicago, the voice of the nation, our favorite radio station. And we are creating millionaires, one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time. And that means you. And it is new year, new you, and it is now. It's now. So um, between your list, uh, Light, and my list, uh, MC Light is here with me. She's got to have my sister here, my sister, my business partner. my And it, it's really like we're sisters. It's like we have the same mother and father for real. Um, we fight like cats and, cats and dogs. We yeah. support each other. We like, it, let me tell you, it, it's, it's, an ama it's amazing, right? <laughs> you are the only person outside of my mom where we can like disagree one minute and be like, we never had a disagreement the next. Oh yeah. You know? I'm, I'm not mad anymore. Like, okay. And uh, you know, what was so funny. Oh, we were fussing about something and the disagreement about something about business. And I think I hung up the phone and I think you called me back where I call you. It was like, you want to go get something? To eat? Yeah, girl, bad. Let me go get my stuff. Like nothing had ever happened. And uh, I do miss that uh, with this new, the COVID restrictions and all of that. But we are not going to burn the bridge for 2020 no. because 2020 gave us some stuff, gave us some stuff. So I'm going to talk about in this segment, let's just talk about, let's talk about money. Because what I heard from your list, like, and from my list, um, I heard very clearly um, a couple of things. I heard, you know, financial uh, stability and the things that we want to do with our finances. I heard um, food and what we eat, what we put in our bodies and not just what we put in our bodies that we eat. I'm even thinking what we put in our minds, the energy, uh, all of those things. And I also heard us talk about relationships. So let's dig into the money and, and the way that I'm going to deal with money. So mm -hmm. if you are, you know, feeling the millionaire's round table right now, you need to get a pen and paper, some pen, a pen and some paper, mm -hmm. and you need to write this down because this right here is game changing. All right. Um, I have taught everything that I could possibly teach about money. Um, I have taught about real estate. I've talked uh, taught about investing. I've taught about insurance. I've taught about estate planning. I've taught about mortgages. I've talk, talked about retirement. Um, and I think we have an idea light like, about the things that we're supposed to do. But I think we need to highlight the stuff that we are not supposed to do. OK, because I think if we focus on the things that we're not supposed to do, and that's kind of the opposite of your theory. But I'm telling you, everybody knows what they have to do, but they're doing things. They're going to prevent them from ever getting where it is they're trying to go. So here's my list. We're getting your money straight because everybody wants to send a question. I want you to keep sending your questions to askland.org. Please continue to send your questions, especially today. There's a sale still going on right now. 40% off the platinum program, 40% off the diamond program. You have an instant home based business and um, you have a whole curriculum, everything from how to start a home-based business, how to invest in the stock market, how to make your money grow, social media training, life coach certification, uh, financial coaches boot camp, 
Um, we have an author's collaboration circle. We have a speaker training. We have so many thing in, things in a diamond program. So that's still off. But this is what I want people to know. That's still There's a discount on that still today. This is what I want people to know. Number one, if you cannot afford to get an education, a financial education, then you cannot afford to not get one. Let me repeat. Mm. If, if you cannot afford to get a financial education. Mm -hmm. So you send out an email, you ask me a long question. We reply back and say, there's a class, it's $29. Mm. There's a webinar with a book, it's $42. There's a session with attorney Deidre, mm -hmm. it's $50. There's a whole day training for $150. If you can't afford that, then really you can't afford to not do it. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. If you can't afford $20 for a class, then you need to go. I ain't going to say steal it, <laughs> but you need to get that $20 by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the barriers like that we have to wealth that we don't understand that in order to get to get wealth, we actually have to invest in the knowledge that it takes to make it happen. No, what, what, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, what that made me think of in my world was I wanted to get into voiceover. Right. So I called up a friend of mine. I said, hey, I'm interested in voiceover. He was nice enough to share his agent's information with me. But when I called the agent, the agent asked me, had I done any voiceover before? And I said, no, I haven't. Well, why do you think that? Why do you want to do it? I said, well, people tell me I have a nice voice. Okay, well, that means nothing in this world. What I need you to do is invest in this boot camp. And once you do the boot camp, I'll speak to the instructor and I'll speak to you afterwards and see if this is something that you really want to do. I'll see what the instructor thought of you as well. And so all of that was the preparation to get me to the space to do VO. I could have, in the middle of that, coming from New York City, thinking everybody's got a scam going, I could have thought, oh, this agent has something going with the instructor and he sends everybody there and they pay 500 for this weekend workshop. What if it amounts to nothing? What if it gets me no closer to where? You have to believe that what you are asking of God, he's going to deliver to you. So he is not going to send you no rinky dink situation when he knows that the vision that he's given you is worth much more than that in value. And so I knew that I was supposed to do voiceover. So yeah. to me on the road, the journey there, I had to pay for the workshop to get the skills that I needed in order to be successful in the VO world. And that's the same thing with this financial journey that you'll go on if you invest in the education that will empower you to make the proper decisions. Yeah, you have to, you said something, you have to invest in the knowledge to gain the skills. Mm -hmm. You have to invest in the knowledge to gain the skills. Yeah. So what, what skill are we talking about? I'm talking about the skill of, a, of accumulating and saving and investing and maintaining wealth. That mm -hmm. is a skill. Yeah. That is not something that people just wake up and there are some people who just make it and some people who don't. That's not how it works. Right. And the only people that that works for are the people who have a trust fund and there's a whole big system around them to ensure that those funds can never be diminished and or depleted. So you have to invest in the knowledge to gain the skills to become wealthy. Yeah. If any, if there was any other way, I, I promise you I wouldn't be teaching. I if promise you I would be on the beach. I promise was, you. If there was any other way, most people wouldn't be in the situation they're in. They would have we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hold that thought right there. We're gonna take a break and we will be right back. This is the Millionaire's Roundtable. Have you ever dreamed of becoming a motivational speaker? Then you need to register for Lynn Richardson's speaker training course. Lynn can help you create a powerful message and new possibilities for yourself. Learn how public speaking can turn into another stream of income for you. Learn how public speaking can land you that new job you interviewed for. Confidence in your public speaking can even create the possibility of a raise at your job. 
So register today for Lynn Richardson's speaker training course and change your life. For more information, visit lynnrichardson.com. Hey, now, welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. You're watching the Millionaire's Roundtable. You're feeling the Millionaire's Roundtable. Yes, you are uh, right here on WVON 1690 AM, the talk of Chicago, the voice of the nation, our favorite radio station, and we are creating millionaires, one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time, and that means you. Yes, it absolutely means you. And the reason I say you're listening and watching is because you can also watch this episode at Von TV. That's right, Von.tv. You can watch the Millionaire's Roundtable along with so much other great, great programming. So we're just excited. It is the new year. It is a new you. I want to get through uh, this part of the list because we still got to deal with food. We have to deal with relationships. And I think if we all can just focus on these three things, then we can achieve what I call harmony. Um, my job is not to help people be financially free. My job is not to help people get their relationships right. My job is not to help people find the right career. My job is not to help people make a hundred thousand or a million. My job is to help people achieve personal, professional, and spiritual harmony. Harmony. Everything might not be what you want it to be. You might not be making the kind of money that you're that you want to make. You might not have the relationships that you want to have or the relationships that you have may not be perfect. Um, you may not be the size you want to be. And even if you are the size, you know, I'm the right size, but I got some stuff I got to tighten up, you know, but I don't want to go outside, let alone figure out where I'm going to exercise. So I'm going to need a gym or something in my house if I'm going to stick to my fitness goals as it relates to how I want to look. Um, to myself, and this is for nobody else, because Demetra says, I'm fine just the way I am. So I just look at him sideways like, you just in love. <laughs> you don't know no better. There, there is a better thing that could be happening right here. But you know what? I'm thankful for the love. But we want to talk about harmony. And so with this money list, so like we can get on to, because you, you said something about the food, and I want to get to that. So number one, if you cannot afford to get a financial education, then you cannot afford not to get one, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. If you do not have a strategy for how you're going to retire as a millionaire mm -hmm. with an income of with a stream of income for life, you still have work to do. And there's a, a financial education available to you at New Wealth University. And there is nothing that we don't have the ability to teach, whether it's me, a, attorney Serena Williams, attorney Deidre Wood Stokes, uh, Ingrid Levon, um, attorney Michelle Miller, um, all the wonderful people, Cecilia Marlowe, Monica Poland, Janea Kennedy, Alicia uh, Bowens. I mean, there are so many people who are here and available to help. So there's nothing that will be, no stone that will be unturned. The other thing is people say like, they say, I can't find the class. They go to the website and they say, I can't find the class. Mm -hmm. Stop that. Stop quitting before you start. Right. Like when I, you, you got to speak up a little louder, like, cause we can't hear you. When, when I wanted to go work for Russell Simmons, he didn't know me. I didn't know him. I just saw a magazine article. I saw get your money right. I said, I need to be there. I sat on the computer for hours, hours. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be sleeping so that I could get on a plane to go someplace else. And until I found it now, I guess eventually I would have gone to sleep without finding it, but I don't know. I stayed there and I searched and I looked and I looked and I finally found an email address and a phone number and the rest is history. So do not quit on your dreams. Light, has there been anything that you've ever wanted to do that you had to go search for the answer? Oh, uh, absolutely. And sometimes you'll get the answer quickly and sometimes you won't, but you have to stay, yeah. committed. You have to stay committed to wanting the, the actual answer. You know, sometimes... I think uh, people give up too easy, too easily. Sometimes, most of the time, people give up. The race is not won by the fastest. The race is not won by the prettiest. The race is not won by the most handsome. The race is not won by the smartest. The race is not won by the richest. The race is not won by the cheater. The race is won by the person who endures until the end. Yeah. Until the end. Yeah. You have to be, you have to keep going. Yeah. You can't fail until you quit. You have to keep going. You have to keep striving. Like 30 years you've been out here now, 31. Yeah. And I mean, this was a great year for me 
But I, from what I see for you, this has been probably one of the best years for you as well. The entire entertainment industry shut down, but you didn't shut down. You know, I think, uh, God, thank you. Um, first off, you know, I, I'm speechless when it comes to what God has done for me. And Would you come on now? Baby, don't my, make me shout. I'm yeah. trying to keep my composure. In my life, <laughs> you know, I have been made anew. And yeah. so to have this year pan out the way that it did, to me, it was just a reminder that I did something right. I, I, I may not have gotten it all right. And in fact, I've gotten a lot of things wrong, but I did something right in order to be blessed during this 2020. And really all of the, the 30 plus years of putting all of the blood, sweat and tears into the business, this year people came to me and said, we want you to DJ on this thing. We want you to uh, uh, perform on this thing. We want to give you a TV show. Uh, your very own, that you'll be an executive producer of, a writer, creator, all of the credits that I've always wanted my entire life. Here's your opportunity. Um, another role. Here, here's a role for you to play this detective. You don't need to read for it. We're going to give it to you. And that came from putting in all of the hard work uh, years prior too. So I, I'm just thankful. Not to mention Sunny Girl. Oh. And the Ooh. management firm, go on, preach. Yeah, uh, the management firm and us handling, you know, you, you, one of my, you know, my top talent that I manage. You know? <laughs> I'm Ooh. your top talent. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Help me. I thought I was going to the promised land. What's going on? <laughs> no, you know, Lynn Richardson and New Wealth University, it just took off with the the biggest bang that we could ever imagine. And, you know, if there's, there are so many things that you've taught me that if I, if I had to just center in on one right now, that is being in service. When you're in service to, to people, when you're being used by God, there, if there's a will, there's a way, he is going to work it out for you. And he did more than that in 2020. He showed up, showed out, and I, I'm just in awe of all of it, all of what it is that we have benefited from in this year. Let me let me tell you what you did in 31 years. So you invested in your good name. You you stayed on the high road. You uh, did not sell yourself out. You did not diminish your brand. You. Um, you know, came out light as a rock. Yeah, but then you expanded. Uh, I mean, this year you didn't just DJ, I mean, voiceover, do voiceover. You didn't just do voiceover for BET. You did voiceover for uh, the NBA. You know, you did voiceover for uh, the NAACP. You did voiceover for, did you do it uh, in, uh, for the Emmys or like, hey. You just expanded beyond anything. So you invested in your image. You invested in your career. You were ready when you got to the record label. And so they signed you instantly. You already had your rhymes written. They were in your book. My, look at my little notebook. I guess you had one, something like this. And um, no, I think you had a composition book. And um, let me tell you what else you invested in. You invested in the idea that you could actually have, there you go, that's it, that's it, that composition book. So I tell everybody to get a journal. But you also invested in this company. You invested in Sunny Girl. And when I came to work with you, and I knew we were going to be partners, and this is what people have to understand. Just because you get in partnership with someone doesn't mean you have to put your name on it. Mm. Doesn't mean you have to change everything. You have to have it. No. When I came to the table to work with you, Sunny Girl had already been around almost 20 years. So I was like, let's keep that. I think at that time, 2012, so been about 15 years. Let's keep that name. Let's keep that brand. Let's keep it moving. And so we built it together. And guess what? You then invested in me. You invested in me. You put your name on the line. You uh, you know, told people that I could help them with their finances. You, I mean, you did for me 
what I what I've seen Russell Simmons do for people over and over and over and over and over again. Many times is one of the reasons I've loved working for him. He's one of the best people I've ever worked for. And it's the thing that we're now doing because then we are now taking our platform and, you know, we built up DJ Jermaine or have been building him up, but helping Jason, the stylist and helping Ingrid Levon, the corporate on the go CFO and uh, gave Desiree a platform. So uh, at this past wealth uh, beyond 2020 wealth experience. So what it has been about, you are going to reap. And if you are listening to this, if you're trying to figure out, what is your next level and how are you going to get there? You must invest and you have to go and search for what it is that you're looking for and don't give up. But you have to get rid of things that are going to distract you, which brings me to the next thing. I don't have time to take any classes. You got to snatch the time. Mm -hmm. You got to demand the time. Mm -hmm. You have to tell your children they got to cook their own food. Mm. If they don't know how to cook, everybody know how to fix a bowl of cereal. Mm -hmm. Everybody know how, knows how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If, let me tell you, a child that knows how to use an iPad can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Don't get me started, okay? They have to, they have to do their own laundry. Mm -hmm. They have to clean up their own room. Matter of fact, they have to clean up some other rooms as well. You're going to have to see where you are using your time, and then you're going to have to say, who can I delegate this to? Are you cooking every day, three days, three, three times a day? Now, if you're doing that, God bless you. But you cannot cook three times a day and go to your job and, uh, you know, take care of your spiritual life and show some attention to your significant other who may be an insignificant, significant other. You need to deal with that, too. And, mm -hmm. and then baby your children and think you're going to have time to start your business or to go after your dreams. You're going to have to snatch the time. The other thing that people say about money, I'm still on the topic of money. These are the things you cannot do. You cannot say, I don't have a computer. Like I give people a financial assessment that will blow anybody out the water mm -hmm. because I deal with everything. Because I've practiced in mortgages and real estate and financial aid and investing and insurance and all of those things, I give my clients a financial assessment that goes across all the different areas. Well, guess what? Then people say, I don't have a computer. Get a computer. Mm. And let me tell you something. And you can comment on this. I know we have lots of technology, but you cannot do everything on your phone. You cannot. No. We, we are not that advanced that you can do everything on your phone. And until you can use the bathroom just with your phone, I don't want to hear it. Go get a computer. Got, you got to get a computer. Mm -hmm. Go to QVC. And I don't, I'm not into debt, but you can get a computer, no credit check, four or five or six payments, get a computer, get a refurbished computer. If you need to get to the next level financially, mm -hmm. and that means you need to study, you need to pull up spreadsheets, you need to study the stock market, then I want you to email my office. Go to asklin.org and tell me I don't have a computer. And we will make sure you get to the resources to get that computer. This is the Millionaire's Roundtable, and we have to break. We're going to talk about those other things that's going to make a new year and a new you. We'll be right back. With 2020 finally behind us, ask yourself, did you accomplish your financial goals last year? If the answer is no, celebrity financial expert Lynn Richardson has created the right class for you. It's the Beyond 2020 Masterclass, New Year, New You. Lynn will teach you her new money mastery strategies to help you reach your 2021 financial goals. So sign up now for the Beyond 2020 Masterclass, New Year, New You. For more information about all of Lynn's online classes, books, and webinars, please visit lynnrichardson.com. Hey, now, welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson. It's WVON 1690 AM, the talk of Chicago, the voice of the nation, our favorite radio station. And we are creating millionaires, one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time and one dime at a time. And that means you, whether you are listening, watching, feeling, vibing with or just getting the energy that you need for this new year and this new you right now, uh, just get it. Get it any by any means necessary. So we are talking about in the area of money. And so MC Light is here with me. We got to hit the last few points of this list. Um, I wish we could just keep going on and maybe we'll just do a part two. 
-hmm. We'll do a part two for the next show. How about that? But we're talking about money and I'm going to focus on the things you should not do because I've told you what to do. I've told you everything to do. Listen to the Millionaires Roundtable. Go to WVON.com. Go to LynnMillionaire.com. Watch all the episodes. I've told you everything. Listen to all the episodes, whichever one you want to do. I've told you everything that you need to do. So now I'm going to tell you what you cannot do. One, you cannot say I can't afford to get an education because if you if you can't afford it, then you can't afford not to get it. You can't say I can't find the class and then you give up. Go on to askland.org, get your reply and then click the link and find your class and sit there. If it takes you an hour to find your class, read everything anyway. Reading is not just fundamental. Reading is the way to wealth. You cannot be wealthy if you cannot read. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to read it for you. If you've got a reading comprehension issue, this is the year, the new year, the new you. Go take a class at a community college. Let me tell you, everybody's got to fix something. So whatever your thing is, don't let it be the thing that keeps you from getting where you're trying to go. You can't say, I don't have any time. That's not going to work. You got to snatch the time. Yes. You're going to have to put time into getting a financial education. And once you get the education, you got to put time into keeping it. Mm -hmm. You got to put you got to put time into get money. You have to put time into keeping money. You have to put time into maintaining money. Mm -hmm. Like we're, you know, investing in the stock market. We have an investment club. I have to watch. I have to study the stock market every single day. Yeah. I have to know what's going on in the financial markets every single day. I have to know if I'm going to keep a stock or if I'm going to reallocate my portfolio, if I'm going to rebalance, if I'm going to do some repositioning. You have to stay knowledgeable and educated. Otherwise, life will pass you by. You cannot say I don't have a computer. Get one. You cannot run your entire financial life on a phone. The same way, like you said, relationships, we think because we have Zoom and FaceTime, you got to get connected and you have to feel the kinetic energy with the people that you love or share the kinetic energy with the people that you love. Mm -hmm. And then finally, this is the thing that you cannot do. You cannot say, well, I don't know what my business is, so I'm just not going to do anything. No, mm -hmm. if you don't know what your business is, then you have to start getting an education in order to find out what your business is. Because here's what's going to happen when you start moving towards your dream. You're either going to discover it, collide, or crash into it. <laughs> you gonna, and, and that's how I feel with this entertainment industry. I crashed into it. It was just crash, right? And so you're going to find new things about what it is that you like, what you don't like, you're going to discover some of your strengths, your weaknesses, and maybe even a new passion that you're not very aware of or that you're not aware of that's going to you know, help you get to the next level financially when you start to build your other streams of income. What, what are your thoughts about that like? Uh, yeah, I'm in complete agreement with the can't list. And, you know, most times I try to keep myself in a positive zone. So I'm never I can't anything because the moment you say you can't, then you can't. Right. You like, wow, you believe you, you know, when you're when your conscious hears your voice, say it, it makes it more relevant. It makes it real and true. And when in fact it's not because you can do anything if you put your mind to it. So if you need a computer, don't settle with I cannot have one. Say I will have one. And yeah. But yeah, there are all sorts of programs that give away computers, like there are countless ways that one can get one. You just first have to believe that you deserve one and then yeah. it will come into your, your uh, circumference. But I'm in, I'm in total agreement with you on, you hear the cants much more you know, than I do. However, I know that they're real and I think people just have to turn their thought pattern around in tw beyond 20. 20, because I was yeah. 21. Uh, nothing is impossible. It's That's right. possible. You first must believe. And you have to really keep your mind. Uh, when we talked about food that gets in, I'm, I'm not just talking about edible food. I'm talking about yeah. book. Come on with it. Let's, let's move right into it. Yeah. I'm talking about TV. I'm talking about news. It's okay to tune into the news, get your update, and then skid your butt right out of that 
lane because all it is is fear tactics and it's repeating themselves over and over again where it gets into your psyche and those are the things that you begin to think about outside of what it is that you should be thinking about with growth and expansion and positivity and things that will lift you up and inspire others while you're being lifted up. So I just think that, you know, everything that you surround yourself with, you should really put a level of importance as to whether or not you and that thing need to share the same space, whether it's someone that's negative, whether it's TV that's negative, music that's negative, and food that doesn't do anything for your body. If it's not nurturing, you know, if it doesn't have nutritional value, you know, you got to take another look at it. Is this sugar? Yeah. Worse. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm having an issue with food. Like there, there are things that happen to me when I eat certain foods and I don't like it. Yeah. And, um, you know, for new, for Christmas Eve and Christmas day. And what I thought was going to be the day after Christmas day, we had a crab feast. Mm. I had done my Demetrius when he got a case of Dungeness crab, mm -hmm. he went and got a case of King crab. And I'm thinking, Oh, this is great. You know, it's seafood. We had our vegetables. And the truth is, uh, shellfish in particular, it swells up when it gets inside my body and I can feel it. I actually do much better from a digestion perspective and even from, from an energy, my energy, my digestion, everything is much better with red meat. And of mm -hmm. course, people say don't eat red meat. And I have not eaten red meat really in about 20 years, but I've got to incorporate more of it into my diet if I want to feel the way I want to feel. Now, of course, if Russell was talking, he'd say no meat at all, like none of it, you know, a plant based diet. And I'm not quite ready for that yet. Go go on. I believe, you know, if you're an old, an old positive, old negative, old whatever. Yeah, that's me. Water of Earth, which you were in Africa and you had to eat meat. And yeah. so our enzymes uh, are, you know, totally excited when there's something that gets in there that it can really rip apart. But so, so this is this is the new year. It's the new you. Didn't mean to cut you off like we are at the end of our time. I feel oh, like we just got started. Um, you know, we want we got to do a part two. Um, you know, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. Thank you, God, for getting us through. Thank mm -hmm. you, God, for helping us to move beyond 2020. God, right now, I want you to bless everybody who's listening, yes. who's watching who's who's sharing um bless those who are trying to figure out what their dreams are bless those who are already living their dream thank you god for allowing me to live mine by helping to serve your people this is the millionaires roundtable it's wvon visit me askland.org go there and get started on your path to a new life a new you right Woo! now we love you right. and we'll talk to you next time happy, Bye -bye. New, year. happy new year for more information about all of Lynn's online classes, books, and webinars, please visit lynnrichardson.com.